Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss about what are the arrays and what are the operations that we can perform on it. Okay, so uh, before getting into all the implementations, I am going to tell you what is arrays. Arrays are nothing but if you want to store a similar type of data uh, in a sequential manner, multiple similar type of data you want to store, then you will go for the arrays. Okay, so something like this. are called arrays because all the type of data are integer okay and another one i can tell you is something like uh, this can be possible this is a string uh, data okay so like that kind of things can be possible friends and something this it's not array why because here it is of two different type one is is integer type whereas Karthik is a string type which is not possible in UI path because UI path is built on top of dotnet which is a strongly typed to language whereas few programming language which allows these kind of things as well friends something like python as well correct me if i am wrong as far as my knowledge python will as allows that Okay, so before getting into implementation, let me introduce myself. I'm Karthik. Usually, I put a video three times a week. That is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So, if you're new here, consider subscribing. So, I have taken one empty sequence, friends. So, what I'll do is I create one uh, array type here. If I go and take into the type, okay, and uh, let me take some values like this six values i have okay six this is how you'll you'll declare away and you mention the type here and default values if you want to mention you can mention here within a curly braces okay so this is how we'll do the default default value declaration so this is done and let's try to get the values from this away okay so let me take something as number one and these values were uh, here if you see we have five elements in an array one two three yeah we have five elements in an array and that means five elements that means it these values will be stored from index of zero so zero to four is is where the these values are getting stored in this array okay so if i want to get the element at first index what I'll do here is uh, as an activity first index means second element within an array okay so first index right so this is the one and uh, one sec one sec one sec so this is the one friends then what I'll try to do is let me write it right line and try to get that value here number one dot two string so I should be getting two here because that is a yeah you can see here that is a second that is at the uh, second index okay so if I want to get the first first element it will be at zeroth index okay so as I said here index the size is five that means index is four what happens if I give fifth index or sixth index okay which is not there so I should be getting an exception saying like uh, like you can see here index was out of the bounds of the array because index will be like 0 to 4 here because I have a size 5 okay how do I know that particular size here okay that function also we'll see in this so um, I hope you guys understood this one if you have any doubt please let me know and we are saying like index and also index will be starting from 0 and maximum index will be like length minus 1 okay so how do i calculate how do i know that okay how do i know that that will be like a size right so let me try to get that away dot uh, count dot to string so this will give me how many elements are there in that particular array okay this is an exception right so let me try to remove it as of now okay then 
it will try to it will give me how many elements are there in that particular array with that i know that this is a this is a uh, five elements are there so the maximum index can be 5 minus 1 4 like that we can get the maximum index when so uh, here we we have seen the count as well that is that ar dot that is array array name dot count is a function friends so if you have doubts please let me know in the comment section and next one is how to loop to this arrays okay so for that we need to use for each loop here i have taken a for each loop let me try to get that okay and type here type of an element by default is an object type change it to integer 32 because we are using int array okay and to get those values i'm just using the right line function here and try to print that particular element in it okay so this is how you can loop through the elements here now you can see first one is a count of elements remaining all are 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 1 2 4 5 6 is a number of elements in an array friend. so like that we can do the loop through the uh, away here okay so this is very simple concept and how to get the average of the elements okay so we know average is nothing but number of sum of the elements by number of elements here we are do, doing the division operation right so uh, what we need to do here is like we need to take a double type variable here okay because we are doing a division so what i'll do is i'll just type div double here and I need to pick the double type here here you can see that system of double okay this we can take it then what we need to do is let me assign the value for the variable that we have given so for that here yeah. what I'll be doing is AR dot average okay average I'm assigning it to the number one and oh it's it's not created it seems let me take that again I think it seems like that element is not that variable not created properly not, I could I might have not saved it yeah. yeah we have this element right so average yeah cool then let me try to do that here right line Yeah, average of elements here a v g dot to string like that we can do the average of elements friends now you can see we got average as 3.6 that is how we can perform this average and if you want to do the sum okay so for sum what we need to do is ar dot just select this sum okay and sum is always returns me integer because i have taken the integer isn't it so what i'll do is sum is so this should return me sum of all the values in the array Now you can see sum is 18 here how 18 is 6 plus 1 6 plus 6 12 12 plus 6 18 yeah that's how the sum we have explored sum we have done average also done yeah then 
count also the element exist or not this is a very important concept friends so what i'll do is element exist or not so here it is a type of boolean here so you need to select the boolean type let me select that okay then what i'll do is i'll select one variable one activity called as an activity here and here what i'll do is um yeah dot contains contains let's select an element that is already there in an array six i am taking and i am trying okay find and put it into the right line here element exist or not find out two string okay so i should get that element should exist here elements exist or not should be true that means element is existing okay let's select the element which is not there in this array okay let me select 60 which is not there as part of this array af okay so in that case i should get false here okay so now you can see we got the false so like that we can explore lot of futures in array friends lot of methods like uh, how to initialize what is a valid type and how many index how to get it by index how to loop through it how to calculate the average and sum and contains element count of elements we can get all this kind of uh, uh, operations from array friends and dynamic arrays i have uh, created another video and i'll put it in the end of this uh, video as well so that you can you can get that is a other big concept so i don't want to put that here again i i have uploaded previously please do watch that and please do subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you for watching